This is me trying to get my YouTube channel active again. So, hi y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, welcome back if you see me before, like two years ago when Montero was a thing. Um, so today I'm want to be I want to, I want to show you like what's in the dance bag that I have. Seems like a good place to start. That I see like a lot of all the dance person personality do it so sorry I'm just taking out like stuff because this morning I went to teach um, meditation class in the park and I'm just gonna take we're gonna take I'm just gonna be taking something out oh a lot of things out <laughs> so here's my current dance bag I got this for my birthday like who, no, actually last week. I got this last week. Right now I have inside my bag, I have a towel. It's kind of beat up, but this is a towel I get, I got when I was in Osaka, I think. Yes. So I have a towel, my pole shorts, Sometimes I don't really use them, I just like wear my whatever pants that I have on that day and just like do it because some tricks you don't need to like wear shorts to do it but if I'm like teaching I need to you know get changed into the shorts just to <coughs> um, like demonstrate a proper technique and then I have like regular shorts and then with tissue because we don't have shower at the studio, we don't have the enough space <laughs> to get a shower. So I have this just to wipe out my body when I like practice for like four hours. I didn't have to teach later. And then for every pole dancer, I have two types of whip solution. At this point, I have the dry hand, and then I have. The clear shock. This is new. I I just started using these, and I think I like this more than this one. This one is also good, but like this one, I feel like it dries me out, my hand out too much, and sometimes like I have no traction because it's too dry. But this one, you kind of have to like you apply it on your hands, and then you have to wait for it to kind of like dry out a little bit because it has a little bit more moisture. But that kind of keeps your hand a little bit more cohesive and tacky I don't know it works for me like this is also good but also I have like a <coughs> kind of like a last resort if my hands are really <coughs> oily or like for some reason it doesn't like stick onto the pole I have dish soap I just wash my hand with these and then like I will apply either the dry hand or the clear shop onto it and then like I stick to the pole like a gecko. Really good. <coughs> and then for the warm up categories, actually, like this thing has like this section and this section. This is like really cool. Lots of space. I have kind of like a stretchable rope. It's not an elastic band, like it doesn't stretch all the way, it kind of stops right here. This one is for more like a long stretch for like shoulder opening and back bend stuff that you kind of like you, you put it on your foot and then you grab it over your head and then you like you stretch like this. This one is more tacky. For, this is not actually for the warm up. I, I do warm up with this one. This is the elastic band. This one this is like full on elastic band. Like, recently I've been doing a lot of shoulder opening because I find I have found that like most of my problem comes with just the shoulder being stiff. So I've been doing consistently um, shoulder opening for like a month now and 80% of my problems on in my hands and my grips are gone. So, so that's that's nice. So warm up with these, stretch with these. And then if I have if I need like a really stiff rope, 
to like help me stretch or something I have this it's actually a yoga robe but it's custom made by one of my teachers that he he taught me in the teacher training program here in Bangkok and he made his own kind of robe because when he was practicing he uses a taekwondo or karate belt which is like I think I think it's like three ish four meters long I don't know how how many inches is that but it's, it's like four, this thing is like four meters long and you you can do a lot more with this kind of length than you know the normal 1.5 meters um, robe that you can buy like generally online or in the store um, this one is also it, it works similarly to this one except that this doesn't stretch so like it takes a bit more effort to kind of like push it away and then stretch it back but also this one is also good because it has the lock in the front so if I want to just like lock my leg in the butterfly position or like in the forward bend position and just stretch this is really good by the way I also have an umbrella right here because you never know when it's gonna rain here it's supposed to be a cold season right now but it just rained like two days ago so like I don't know I don't know what season this is so that is all for what is in my dance bag I do have a pair of knee pads but that's at the studio I don't take that home and also a pair of ankle weights but that's also at the studio because it's too heavy it's, I don't want to be carrying around more things in my bag when I finish teaching or practicing and then just have to go home and like really tired I just want to like <clears throat> leave it there so yeah I hope you enjoyed and have some idea of what you want to bring to your pole class and I'll see you next time bye